Hey friends, Adam here. Uh, I think it's time for another in-depth look at the functionality of Manage Mode, uh, with an emphasis on some of the new digital management tools that we've added or overhauled in ACDC Ultimate 2020. We're going to run through a little workflow here. I've gone ahead and snagged some images from my camera, and I've added a folder in my pictures directory. Before we decide what to do with these images, let's look at the structure of Manage Mode. The very first thing you see when you open ACDC is Manage Mode, so we should understand how to navigate within it. In essence, Manage Mode is grouped into four sections. Navigation, Information, Display, and properties. Let's focus on navigation for a second. This panel is to help you find your files. The navigation panel does this in two different ways. Folders, located on the top left, presents to you a folder tree that mimics your hard drive. So ACDC doesn't store your images and doesn't require an import process that brings images into the application. What ACDC does do is presents to you folders that already exist on your hard drive. You may say, well, Adam, you say it doesn't need to import, but why is there an import button uh, directly above the navigation section? And that's a really good question. ACDC has an import button that helps you manage files that exist on other devices. So clicking on the import button and selecting devices, for example, will take you through the process of moving your images, creating proper folders for them, but that process won't be exclusive to ACDC as a program. So this is important. It's actually a major feature of ACDC. As we move through this tutorial, keep in mind that what you see in ACDC and what is on your hard drive are exactly the same. Okay, so following the folder tree, you can see that my photos are located within a folder called Andrea and Adam, within my photos, which is within pictures. Now I can move these around. Let's right click on pictures and make a new folder. I'm going to name this folder archive because we're going to cull a portion of these images today and archive a portion as well. I'm going to make a subfolder called Andrea and Adam. This is where we're going to put our archived photos. Let's navigate back to our original folder. So our camera took both JPEG and RAW photos. Let's select and place all of the JPEGs in a folder first. I'll add a folder by right-clicking on the display section, and then I'll sort by type uh, using the sort function that's at the top right here. You'll notice that a little JPEG icon appears on the top right-hand corner of half of our images here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shift-click all of the JPEGs, and then drag them and drop them into my JPEG folder. I'm then going to slide the whole JPEG folder into my archive section by using the folder tree. With that done, let's begin a culling process on the raw images. Now, I could use the view mode, or I could change the view method in manage mode. So we're gonna do the latter. I'm gonna select view, and then choose film strip. Let's rate these images. Ratings of 1 will delete. Ratings of 2 we will keep and archive. And then 3s are the ones that we will edit and that we'll use. Rating an image uses the properties panel. You'll see that if I select an image, the properties panel will pop up 
ratings, labels, categories, keywords, and collections will be visible. For now, let's focus on ratings. I'm going to rate my first image here a 1. So I have something called Auto Advance turned on. This makes it so that when I rate an image, ACDC will proceed to the next image. Here's how to turn it on. I'm going to select Tools and then Options from the main menu. And then I'm going to click on Auto Advance from beneath the General tab. You can turn on Auto Advance for Manage Mode or View Mode. I'm going to take a second here to go through and rate the rest of my images. So I'm just going to speed this part up. With my ratings complete, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back to a regular view mode in manage mode. And then I'm going to sort by rating. Okay, so ones, let's just get rid of them. We don't need them. And then twos and threes, we're going to quickly archive. I'll just copy and paste the twos and threes into my archive folder. Now that I've archived the keepable files and scrapped the bad ones, let's work on the threes, the files that we've designated as good enough to edit. I'm going to change back to that film strip view mode. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to open up an image basket. I'm going to do that by navigating to panes, image basket, new image basket. Image baskets are temporary locations for files. I'm going to use an image basket here to designate which of these three rated images I'll be making changes to. ACDC Ultimate 2020 now supports multiple image baskets. When I open up develop mode, I can unhide the film strip that appears in the bottom of the preview section. So those images we placed in this image basket are the ones that we can edit via the film strip. This saves us from accidentally editing the images that we didn't want to, or having to go back and forth from manage mode to develop mode. Let's just make a very simple color change to illustrate. Um, all I'm going to do is increase the warmth on both of these images. Navigating back to manage mode, you'll see that there's a development icon that appears at the bottom of the thumbnail. This is to indicate that development changes have been made. I don't need the basket anymore, so I can actually close it. If at any point I have copy and pasted my files to too many locations, I can use the duplicate finder newly updated in ACDC Ultimate 2020. Let's illustrate that. I'm going to navigate to Tools and find Duplicates. We can then add a folder to begin the scanning process. So let's just add the Pictures folder. Scrolling down, you'll notice our images we've been moving. Here's one that has been placed in the archive as well as another folder. If I wanted to cull any duplicates, this is a really direct method of doing so. I would simply just click on this little checkbox here and then once I move out of the screen, they're deleted. But keep in mind that all duplicates culled are removed from your hard drive. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is add some new keywords to our developed images here. Keywords have been retooled in ACDC Ultimate 2020. You can create your own or use presets. Let's control click the two images that we've developed with those lighting changes. On the right side in the properties panel, 
Let's use the Keywords dropdown and select Portrait. I'll click Outdoors and then Lifestyle. Let's also add a couple custom keywords by typing our own in this field here. I'll add Park and Winter. We can also add an entire quick category by selecting the dropdown and choosing New Quick Keyword Sets. You'll notice that our images have several selected keywords appearing just above the Collections section. Currently, these keywords are not embedded in our files, so we're going to embed this metadata. I'll simply do this by right-clicking these two files and selecting Metadata, Embed Metadata from the drop-down. Embedding metadata will allow other ACDC users to see this information that we've added. The last thing I'm going to do to these images is use recently revamped batch convert function to create a copy of these files in another file type. Let's convert these raw files to TIFF files by selecting batch from the top menu bar and choosing convert. So what's going to happen is a pop-up will appear and let's adjust some of these settings. I'm going to change the format to TIFF and we want these files to be converted to the same folder so we'll keep it as same as source folder. We'll then just make sure to see if preserve metadata is selected, which it is, so we'll run the conversion. Any batching process can be made with any number of images. I might change the rating or label on these completed images just to help in future searches. If I wanted to bring these images up in a search, I would switch to the catalog function within our navigation panel and simply select the metric I wanted to search. So let's illustrate that. Let's click on the blue label. And then we'll add a second criteria by clicking the small chevron next to the 5 rating. You can see how this narrows our search down to a couple images. The images that are both rated 5 and have blue labels. Let's try one more by adding a keyword this time. Let's select the Park Chevron. So now we've found our images by using multiple search criteria. It's important to note that these images locations on our hard drive haven't changed. We've simply used the catalog function to effectively search for them. And that's pretty much it, friends. That's a fun little foray into some of the new and classic digital asset management options that ACDC Ultimate 2020 provides you. I hope you found this tutorial useful. As always, please like, comment, or subscribe for more ACDC tutorials and video content.